What's up you guys, it's Two Bricks, and today I have a slightly different style of video to my usual kind. Usually I'm showing you custom mocks and things uh, that are just my own creations completely. Uh, but today I wanted to give you guys a look at this set, uh, which I just recently got and I thought was a fantastic little build. And um, I also wanted to kind of take the opportunity to show you guys how I would personally go about modifying something like this to be a lot more uh, screen accurate and a lot more faithful to the source material because while I think this is a really excellent toy that has really good functionality and um, the figures are excellent, I particularly love the new Ahsoka and the um, you know Ahsoka's, uh, uh, Ahsoka's unit of clones with the orange face paint. Um, those are all great and the actual um, AAT tank, the main thing that you pay for in the set, is also really good but I just think that the proportions of it are just a little bit cartoonified and uh, not as close as I would want for, you know, for fans of stuff like Battlefront 2 where this is featured very heavily, fans of the Clone Wars and the prequels where uh, these are all over the place. So today we're going to just take a quick look at some things you can do to modify yours and then I will be including a parts list for all of the additional parts that I use so if you guys want to make the same modifications you can go ahead and order them for yourself. So let's just dive in and uh, take a look. So like I said, I think the real stars of these uh, of this set is these two figures, which is the uh, the Ahsoka right here from you know her most updated Clone Wars Season 7 appearance. She has really, really nice detail all throughout, very, very accurate on her clothing, and I like the way that they did the suggestion of the kind of boots and the kneecaps, uh, the, the little kind of um, knee pad thingies, <laughs> sort of like how the clone troopers have those. I think it's all really, really well done. Really nice prints on her um, headpiece here and the, the little kind of tiara looking thing on there is really really well done so just all around great stuff and my lightsaber uh, pieces are nice and clear no frosting no bubbles so great uh, great stuff there and then with the uh, with the clone trooper here with the orange um, I mean it just looks fantastic like what what more could you really ask for from this particular representation of this character as we saw it on screen so yeah awesome uh, but the, the actual um, the design of this is really good and the build is really solid, but I feel like uh, the parts of it that are off to me are that the bottom section here should be much larger in terms of um, proportionally to the rest of it. Uh, there's some missing detail and some missing, um, I guess, the positioning of things is a little bit off uh, here on the front. Uh, the functionality is nice because you have this opening hatch here where you can seat your little pilot figure in there. Um, that's all fine and dandy, and then you have these two little, um, these little activators back here that fire off the flick fire missiles. You can see those resetting. Those are all fine, no problems with that. Um, this gun barrel is uh, way too long. This section here is way too thick. Uh, and then for the the back section here, they have the the suggestion of these piston type uh, pieces back here. I'm not never really was quite sure what these are, but then there's supposed to be a back door kind of um, angled entrance ramp back here where the clones would actually enter into the main kind of piloting section up at the front here. So that is obviously also missing. So I'm just going to take a look at um, some ways that we can fix some of those things. So the first thing that I did is I noticed that these uh, two side cannons are uh, upside down. They should be, I mean, as per the instructions, um, they should be facing the other way because the longer gun barrel uh, is on the top and the shorter one is on the bottom so immediately I was like I gotta fix that and then that's kind of what sparked off my desire to take a look at some of the other proportions of this thing um, a little bit closer so uh, there is additionally one more of these um, which is the hollow stud in the dark uh, bluish gray and that is what you use to plug in this antenna piece which here is represented by this, um, this nice uh, fencing sword piece so I just went ahead and um, added the second one in there because I feel like that just gives it a nicer look where it completes that little sort of, I don't know, just makes it look like it's more attached to the ship than just sitting in a single stud with a gap uh, in between there. So I like that. Oh yeah, and I like that they're reintroducing the, uh, the gray lever pieces, which were previously very, very expensive to get a hold of um, because those were, you know, older pieces that weren't in production anymore. So love to see that. So. Yeah, uh, so let's take a look at some of the changes that I'm going to make to make this feel a little bit better and a little bit more accurate to the real thing. All right, you guys, and through the magic of editing, you can now see that I have completed my modifications to the AAT. Uh, I'm just going to go through and give you guys a look at all of the different changes that I made, 
and what I think makes it more screen accurate and um, just you know an all-round better depiction uh, than the original. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a comparison uh, to the box art, just so you can kind of see, you know, direct one-to-one -one comparison there. Of remind yourself what was there and, and what's here now. Um, so let's just take a look at the new and improved uh, AAT. All right, so Ahsoka and her trooper remain unchanged, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove them from the frame. Uh, and then you'll probably notice right away the biggest change uh, comes in to the base here because um, the base was this very sort of bulky, rounded, thick, stubby kind of a shape, and the AAT has a very, very distinctive wider, flatter shape uh, down here, and it has this little kind of divot in the front here that you can see where it's kind of like a, perhaps it's an air intake or something like that, no, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it also comes with these three rocket launches up at the front here, and you can see indications of those very, very clearly in almost every iteration of this design. So I decided to go ahead and try to include those as well. Uh, and then in addition to the, the larger, flatter shape, uh, I'm able to bring in a little bit more accuracy in terms of the placement of this um, large separatist logo here, because on the original you can see that it's tucked way in the back here, and just, you know, it's it feels more proportional where it is now, because it's sort of a center insignia, and there's just a lot more room to play with that I didn't have in the original, so I was able to do that. Uh, the next big change I made is the whole front section here. Um, I kept essentially the base of what was there um, with just this uh, large piece with the two clips on it for the kind of um, for the attachment for the hatch but uh, I ended up reshaping this thing almost entirely you can see that on the real design uh, this rounded element should sit way higher up on the design it has also a separate gray section inside of it so I just decided to include that with the simple addition of the extra gray dish there um, and then there's this little kind of forked off design here at the front that is pretty pretty unique and um, recognizable where you have these two little sloped parts off to the side and then this little gap under here. Um, so I decided to replicate that and also two additional small cannons that are kind of mounted, nestled into the side of the design here as well. So I decided to try to include as much of that as I possibly could. Um, I ended up, you know, probably quadrupling the piece count of this whole thing. No, not quadrupling, maybe double uh, what was originally there. But I tried to maintain as much of the original structure as I could. Like, there are no new pieces uh, in these cannons. I've just, or no, sorry, that's a lie. There are two new pieces in the cannon. Uh, but I tried to just reconfigure it uh, in a way that is more accurate with a minimal amount of additional pieces. So you see here on the sides, I've kept all this the same. This is the same. I just substituted this grill piece for a, an additional tile that I had that was left over from the design, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I really tried to make sure that it's a uh, as efficient of a redesign as possible, um, minimal, you know, uh, additional parts having to be purchased from you guys. Uh, so the next thing that I decided to change, because it was really, really inaccurate, I mentioned it before, is this big flat section they had in here for the, the gun barrel um, housing. Uh, the gun barrel, again, has a really distinctive little notched design where it has these little curved parts, exactly like what you see here, that kind of come around and um, nestle around the side of the gun barrel and so I decided to uh, include that with a little bit more accuracy and then uh, this large prominent um, blue dot here that kind of represents the uh, where the hinge would be now obviously my my one hinges back here because that's where the uh, the actual design hinges from in the toy and I didn't want to change that but um, I still think it's cool to have that that representation of that in there um, and then I shortened the gun barrel to much, much more realistic proportions, and I just redesigned it ever so slightly. And this one you can see it's insanely long. Um, it's probably a good maybe twice as long as it should be in here, and I also give it a little bit more of an elegant uh, and more accurate you know, uh, cone or conical shape to the, um, to the tip of it here, because uh, in the actual design I give this big fat kind of barrel uh, ending piece there, and that's not really accurate to the real thing and accuracy is the uh, the key here so you know like I did sacrifice having the play feature of the um, the spring-loaded shooters in here but I think most people who want a more accurate looking uh, tank aren't gonna mind too much about the loss of play features because they're probably gonna be using it for a diorama or for you know more kind of display purposes than than play so I think that works out okay um, previously, I was bugged by the fact that these uh, sections here just are loose and will just move when you <laughs> touch the thing. So I came up with this little design just for a stopper that uh, fits right in here. 
that isn't too obtrusive and kind of finishes off that design uh, and also prevents it from going forward any. So I think that, that works out okay. Uh, there was also a large piece right in the center here, a large hollow piece that blocked off all of the space back here. And so I decided to remove that because it's not actually technically necessary, although you know it may make it super duper strong in the core of this thing. I don't think you actually need it. So I took it out and that gives you room to fit a whole additional um, battle droid into the back of the tank here. So now <laughs> your capacity to carry troops has just increased by a full third because you have three droids in there. So that's awesome. I was going to just remove him in there, and it's just a uh, plain blank empty space, so it's really hard to see in there. But um, exactly what was in there before, just minus that big piece that just took up the whole, the whole uh, bulk of that. And then I added this little hatch, which, like I mentioned before, I wanted to have a little, um, an angled hatch back here that follows the shape of this a little bit more nicely, like in the real design. So there's that as well. And then moving up to the top section here, uh, most of this remains pretty much unchanged. I just wanted to. Um, call out this little front design element where this kind of slopes down a little bit more. Um, and in the, uh, in the original, they had this sideways um, rounded slope piece that uh, it gives it a nice-ish shape uh, up at the front here, which um, even though it's nice, it's not really that accurate to the actual shape of it. It's much more of a pronounced curve down in this direction, and it's more flat in the front. So I decided to just um, go ahead and make that swap. Uh, the top here still works exactly as before. You can tuck your your gunner way down in there. I'm not super happy with how deep down in there he has to kind of be squished. But um, if I was to start tearing apart this design here, I would end up you know redoing this whole top turret section. And I didn't want to do that because you know there'll be nothing of the original design left if I keep tinkering away. So um, that works. You know you can get a pilot in there and that's fine. So I think that's all you need. Um, I did you know maintain the ability to angle this up and down so you can. Uh, shoot at you know aerial targets as is the design uh, as is intended. Uh, of course, I left the uh, the gun barrel able to hold a single Jar Jar Binks figure to uh, make the tank veer off course and crash. So that all works out perfectly fine. Get out of here, Jar Jar. Um, I was realizing that with the spent sticker sheet, if you wanted to, there's this little design in here uh, where there's these three little kind of handlebar looking things um, but it essentially in the design it just looks like three vertical lines side by side and um, I was going to say if you have your sticker sheet you can just go ahead and cut three little strips out of this uh, and place those in there and I think that would uh, work out really well I just I just decided not to do that for this because I just wanted to give you guys the pure modifications that you can do with the instructions that I'm providing um, but I just thought that that was something that um, you could do with this if you wanted to and I think that's kind of neat um, so then, yeah, with the, the whole kind of bottom section here, you can see that I've um, I finished it off a little bit differently. Uh, this is all pretty much a total rebuild. It just connects into the original housing. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap in there, which, I don't know, from any reasonable angle, you're not going to see that, but um, that's just something that's a leftover from the design. But you, you plug in this whole new uh, bottom section and pretty much discard everything that was there before, and, and this is an entirely new build. But I really, really feel like being able to capture that nice, elegant curve through there. Um, it just looks so much more like the real thing uh, and the flatness of it and the ability to see the, the prominent three gun barrels and then this little kind of um, indented section under here. I think that just all makes it worthwhile to me to, to do this full redesign. So um, yeah, I really like how I was able to get this to kind of come in and tidily kind of finish off here at the front. I think that this all looks um, much more accurate as well. Uh, technically, in this design, the blue portion here does flare out a little bit, and that is something else that you could potentially address using these stickers here. You could apply a kind of triangular wedge sliver of this to, to make it look like this design is coming outwards more. Um, I always like to keep the spent sticker sheets because I feel like there's so many little useful details like that that you can add to your, th you know, if you're, if you're somebody who cares about like hyper accuracy, uh, the way that I do. Um, there's nothing that's changed in here. There's the same uh, driver that was in there before with the same cockpit. And uh, all of this is largely uh, unchanged. Uh, just you know where it plugs in to this new section, um, that's where the new building begins. So um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy overall with the proportions and the look of this thing. And I would be happy to put this on a shelf 
or in a battle scene alongside my some of my other more detailed builds. I think that this gives you everything that you need for an AAT tank for a separatist uh, edition of that. So yeah, I think this all worked out really, really well. And the design is nice and clean and nice and tidy. Um, there's not, you know, there's not an excess of studs and there's nothing, you know, it's not trying to hide the studs. It's just, it's just a nice Lego rendition of this vehicle. And um, I think that, you know, the original design had really good bones to it. And I really liked uh, some of the techniques. Like I really love the way that they uh, made this side section work out. I just, you know, if you have that slightly more accurate um, front portion here, then it really comes together and just looks like a much more complete design. So uh, like I said, if you guys are interested in getting the parts for this, check out in the description below. I'm going to be including uh, a link to where you can see uh, which parts I used. Uh, you can you know see how to order them on there, and you can build your own modified AAT if that's something that you want. Um, the reason that I decided to do this really is because I know that a lot of kids will be getting this exclusively for these figures, and considering that you're paying, uh, what is this set, $40? and uh, you're getting two figures, I think that that's probably not going to be ultimately worth it. And if you can just go ahead and, you know, make some changes to the toy itself to make it something that you're happy to own, I think that, you know, is worthwhile doing. So I wanted to be able to add some value, I guess, back to this set. Um, because like I said, this is a well-designed toy. It's just not, uh, it's just not an especially accurate replica vehicle. So. There you go, you have the option. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you guys do end up building them, let me know down in the comments if you guys got some value out of this, if you enjoyed seeing kind of my two bricks brain at work on an official Lego set. That's not something I've done as of yet on the channel. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of that content, do let me know. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one and may the force be with you. Mm -hmm.